Look at all these turkeys. Are you trying to play with Earl? <laughs> Here, Max. Hi. Good boy. <laughs> there we go. One more job. I need to, it would be fun. There's Earl in there somewhere. <laughs> Is he fit big? Because he's white. <laughs> Come on, Earl. Good boy. This line that he's got is short enough, so it probably won't get stuck in there. In there. <laughs> I can see it. It's kind of nonsense going here. Fine. Good girl. <laughs> no, Barney. You're not going down there. Titan's going to get you. Or are you going to get Titan? One or the other. Get him. Go get him. Good boy, Earl. He's right behind you. <laughs> Good boy, Earl. Come on, Earl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, yeah. I think, dude, kind of knew these two went. Ah, Eric. Come here. So, my problem with this is that Fitbit is completely deaf. And if she goes for the beach, I'm going to have to fall. Hey, come here. I may have just screwed myself over by not putting Fitbit on leash. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Good girl. Now, part two of this test is Earl. Come on, buddy. Oh, good boy. There we go. Hey, Barney. Come on, Earl. Good boy. Look at my pack. So, like I said, Fitbit is completely deaf. Come on, Earl. And uh, if she kept, chose to keep going, there would be not much I could do because she can't hear me. <laughs> so, but she's accustomed to following the pack. So when we didn't go behind her and follow her, she turned around and came back. And so did Earl. Are you just such a good boy? I think maybe you are. That was a big test right there. And you passed it with flying colors. Now, my other thing would be if I had a dog that was what I like to call a leader who likes to think for themselves and do things for themselves and they kept going and went down to the beach I don't really have any of those anymore but I sort of used to have those Barney's done it to me before sometimes as much as you get to know these dogs and I know them fairly well because I've, I've been doing this for over a decade um, you can get to know a dog really well and then just all of a sudden one day they throw you a curveball. So it's happened before. <laughs> it's just it's just the way it is. But as your pack grows with you, you, you pretty much know what to expect from them every day, right? And how they're gonna be, with all their little all their little uh, what do you call them? Quir quirks, I guess. And uh, you just kind of manage them that way. But it does take a while to get to know them. And, uh, hi, we just found something out about you, didn't we? You're such a good boy. You really are. Hi, Max. Good boy. You're also a good boy, Max. Yes, you are. I love Max. He's my oldest, oldest, uh, I'm gonna call him a friend. He's my friend. Just kind of like Ali, I mean, they're, they're both came to me at the same time, pretty much. Okay, Barney, hold up. We're right there. 